What's up everyone, this is Ben Falcons Media Corner back again with another AK Afro Assault review episode for today. This one's going to be on another release from 2021, which this one I was dying to review this film. Most of my friends have talked about this and I thought I should just review this film so I could just get this one out of the way. So today's review is going to be my review on the 2021 action movie and this is the ninth entry to this, to this franchise and that is F9 The Fast Saga or simply known as Fast and Furious 9. So this ninth entry to this Fast and Furious franchise reunites director Justin Lin to direct this next chapter of, the, of this franchise, which he has directed the numerous Fast and Furious movies, including Tokyo Drift, Fast and Furious, Fast Five, and Fast and Furious Six. So now he's directed the ninth chapters of the Fast and Furious series. So in this film, we see Dom Toretto is back once again, played by Vin Diesel and his team. Uh, they're all back, but this time around, they're facing new da new danger in this film, which. Um, we see the villain from the last movie, Cypher, once again played by Charlize Theron, basically recruits um, Dom's younger brother named Jacob, played by John Cena, to basically go up against Dom and his team, as well as prevent his a de dangerous uh, terrorist attack. So we see Dom and his team has to do everything he can to basically stop Jacob and, you know, try and save the whole world from a, ne from a next deadly terrorist attack. So that's pretty much the story of F9. Now, when it comes to the Fast and Furious movies, since recent years, uh, most of these movies are just mostly mostly made for being, you know, f you know, f silly, fun, ridiculous, dumb action movies, being too way over the top of its ridiculousness and silliness, which they have become since recent years. And I have seen every single one of these movies since uh, since I was introduced to these movies back in twenty fifteen. Um, I enjoyed the first movie from two thousand one. Um, as well as I also enjoyed uh, Fast Five, which was one of the best ones. Which in that one, since that one, it has the franchise has gotten more popular and much better. Uh, Fast and Furious Six, I also enjoyed, and personally, I think Furious Seven is my favorite of the franchise. And the last one that we got, the eighth entry in the French of uh, the main franchise, The Fate of the Furious. I did have some silly, I did have some ridiculous fun with that one. And the previous one that we got uh, before this, which was a spin-off, Norris Hobbs and Shaw. I also had some pretty fun pretty silly fun time with that one and for the other ones in the franchise like Too Fast Too Furious that one it's decent but it wasn't as good as the first movie I didn't hate the movie I just think it's a decent watch and Tokyo Drift it tends to have like mixed responses from a few fans of the series but I didn't think it's a I don't think it's a bad film I do think it's a decent watch that one and the fourth movie in the franchise I think that one's also decent so and when I saw the trailers for this movie I Obviously knew what I was going to expect. I, I went up with my expectations with this one when I was about to go and see, when I was going to go and see this back then. But unfortunately, not unfortunately though, this film got rescheduled a few times because of the pandemic. Originally scheduled to be released back in the summer of 2020, but then it got delayed and delayed and delayed until it got released in the summer of last year. And I went to see this on um, the 24th of June, and my screening wasn't really that packed. There wasn't quite a lot of people who were seeing this movie with me. But after watching uh, this new entry. I obviously got what I originally, what I knew I was going to expect from this new entry. I obviously had some more, I obviously did have some fun, ridiculous, fun time with this one. And honestly, I actually do think this one is even more ridiculous than the last film, which The Fate of the Furious was ridiculous, but this one is even way more ridiculous than ever. Because the action in this film honestly just plays out like a slapstick cartoon from Cartoon Network or anything. And most of them are just absolutely unrealistic than ever. Like, say... Like say there's a magnetic truck and then a car gets attached to it and crashes through buildings while it gets attached to it. It's it's just ridiculous. And a car that gets attached attached to a rope and then has to swing across from a wrecked bridge and all that while it's attached to it, the rope. It's it's absolutely silly. And seeing two guys that go up into space in a car and all that. That I think that's even way more silly than than ever in this one. And um, as well as when we get to see see some people they get. Uh, crushed by by some cars or trucks or anything like that and managed to survive it's just honestly honestly that for those when those moments happen they're just absolutely but big wtfs and in, in in this movie and i didn't even know how how this one kind of how those kind of played out for me uh because you know they're just they're just silly and it is absolutely dumb to watch but 
the direction for those sequences are pretty fun to watch just for yourself to have you know a fun dumb time with this one while shoving popcorn down your throat and have a few drinks and even if you want to watch this with your mates or anything like that at home like just get yourself just get your mates over watch this movie and just sh eating some snacks like popcorn have a few beers and all that it just kind of feels like that with this one with just for how those action sequences were directed th that way and the stunts were pretty well done as well though and the uh the performances in the film are pretty solid from the cast members that we all know from the know and love from the from the previous movies you know vin diesel and everyone there they're all pretty solid enough and for john cena who appears in this one i thought he was pretty solid in this film everyone's pretty solid in the film and i kind of wish this one kind of had a little more justice to it in this one when this this movie just mostly t tends to focus on mo the most unrealistic and just at times where this film just feel like an a slapstick cartoon for its action sequences yeah i kind of wish there was a little bit more justice in this film but hey at least this film does have family right <laughs> but in the end guys f9 it was a solid decent time yeah and i wouldn't say this is the best in the franchise and this is definitely not the worst in the franchise this is definitely not a bad film it's just going to be a divisive film for the for, it, it'd probably be a divisive film for me for some diehard fans of this franchise well, for fans of this franchise, you're probably you're probably going to get what you expect really when it comes to this franchise. Just seeing the ridiculous action here. And if you're a fan of this franchise, and if you missed a chance to see this in cinemas, it is available to stre to stream on any app of your choice, or just simply just buy a copy buy a copy for yourself on any physical media of your choice. So that's pretty much all I have to say about F9 in the end. I'm going to give F9 3 out of 5. Like I said before, this one was just a decent time with this one. And I wouldn't say this is the best in the franchise, and this is definitely not the worst in the franchise, and this is not a bad film. This one is just a decent time here. But again, if you are expecting just, you know, ridiculous, dumb action, you're, you're going to get that all here. going to get with that all here with this one. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching with my AK After a Store review on F9. And let me know what you think of this film, if you have seen this already. Did you have a blast with this, or were you very disappointed with this one? So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews, and as always, this has been Foggins Media Corner, signing off.